this piece of work? What are you going to do with it? Where, where do you see it? Where do you see it? Um, ultimately, and is it finished? Is it no, it's not finished. Okay. Well, I began it uh, maybe a little bit more than one year ago. Uh, majority of them have been uh, shot within 2009, except I guess two photographs. One was earlier and one was this year. But generally, I'm still going on with, with this because when I when I started to shoot them. I didn't have any idea in my mind. I was simply, well, what I was attracted was what I've co called, uh, I've been calling for myself, like a direct and, and uh, flat, uh, in a sense of uh, composition, landscape. I mean, something like, like, like it's here or, or there. I mean, simply very, very, very direct and Nothing, nothing complicated. That, that's not stereotypical, but that's the average. You know? yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. Yeah, you know, I can, I can compare it with films, for example. Um, it's about sound. If uh, you see a film and you can say nothing about sound, it means that sound was perfect. So nothing mm -hmm. disturbed you. Mm -hmm. At the same is with these pictures. We, we actually don't uh, notice this the spots, but this is what creates this background feeling of the Sometimes it's better, I mean, sometimes it's better not to be the top. You know, because I mean, one of the reasons me and Vanessa left England when we left England in 2000 was that I was, I was starting to do a lot more paid work and, you know, for magazines and stuff, but it's just so boring. You know, and you kind of lose sight of who you are as a photographer, why you went into it. And then, you, you know, a lot of my friends stayed on who were very good at, you know, successful photojournalists. But because of the way the market changed, they started to just do more commercial work at home. And the money is good, and you kind of build up a nice kind of thing. But now, I mean, they're all wealthier than me, but they, they're all, um, they all completely envy me and Vanessa because they find their work. But it's, it's kind of still a good way to make money. It's better than a lot of other jobs. But, it doesn't inspire them, it's just something they do now. You know, it's just become another, another job. I'm still searching for my personal way of taking pictures. So, I take all color pictures, so I don't lose anything. I mean, I have my file there and I have total control of my file. But when I make a portfolio mixed with black and white and color. Sometimes I feel uh, I lose some coherence. Some, uh, you know what I mean? Okay. The coherence is that then I feel uh, that is no more logical. Mm -hmm. So one answer, one, one question is: uh, Do you think we can put together color and black and white pictures mm -hmm. to tell a story? Okay. I was still uh, asking this to myself. Yeah. I like that one very much. This is, this is uh, a contest. This is Abdul. This is uh, quite famous in Flanders. He was a, a prisoner and this was his first fight. And he was fighting with a, a bracelet for electronic <laughs> control. But then when I was working on, on this, I had different questions from boxers. Or they really like to be photographed, the guys. So I had the question to take some uh, portraits, and that's this series. It's a different, younger, old guys. It's also funny because they have different professions. It was like Abdul was being a prisoner, and I think, yes. This guy, he's, uh, he's working on uh, the stock market. And then, when I was doing this, um, I started to change to um, color images because I was um, working on very dark and difficult circumstances. So I had to use a flashlight. And I started to use a uh, flashlight. The, the flashlight. So, my question is, how do you match this all together? <laughs>
<laughs> because they're, for me they are three different things and yes. I like all of them. Yeah. I like yeah. the black and white, but black and white boxing has been done so many times mm -hmm. that it's just one of the times. And uh, actually those color images have been picked up by a, a magazine I've been published already. Mm -hmm. um, and now I don't know how to continue because there's uh, well, a okay. year and a half work. Okay. I have the same thing with the football, but then it's all black and white, but you see difference between film and digital. And that's, that's my question, how to combine. Because I don't want to throw away two years of work, just because okay. I'm, I'm changing I, 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 the camera. I, I, I think I have probably a thousand images that I could have used, all of them I liked, but eventually you have to choose. choose. George also had hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of images from Turkey. And many of the rest of the large images completely got rid of. But he's not, not going to use them then? Or no, they're, they're, they're them not going to be used. Um, I mean, he might use them in, in a kind of an archive. So, mm -hmm. But nothing's ever wasted. To, and I think this, this is quite successful in that. But he's someone who can work commercially, but mostly works in the art market. I think with your... I think with your dad... I don't like the pictures of your dad so much. Because I, I, I find, I, I find you've you kind of given your dad this commercial treatment. In a, in a sense. And it's so, to me it's a little bit too stagey. And so I kind of wonder where, you know, what the pictures are telling me. Are they, is that adding any more to, to your, to the image of your dad? They're not so different. Mm -hmm. Maybe they should be more intim intimate. I think, I mean, I think you, in a way you're, you're, you're using your commercial kind of knowledge and applying it to a personal project, but I think not really so successfully. Mm -hmm. That's it. <laughs> That's it. Okay. Cool. All right, guys. Let's go to say. Let's 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 yeah. Let's kind of. Uh, I think it's family. They're all family. <coughs> Yeah, maybe it's like trying to see the comparisons or the differences, you know, it makes you feel that it might be time or one comment from everyone. Would it would be a bad for me it looks like Beatles. For me it was for kind of then. Okay. Why? Uh, because it's maybe the classical way, black and white, and maybe because I listen now classical but more, but uh, it, it looks like, because they are older, and they look really serious for me somehow. Okay. Serious, serious older people. Uh, I think that, that for a little bit we let uh, Vanessa and George to, to rest, because they have been thinking all day. And, um, I wanted to actually ask uh, you to speak now a little bit and just maybe in one or two sentences we could go around the circle and, and you could tell maybe one most important thing that you have learned today or, or like some biggest uh, revelation. Uh, I uh, Vanessa asked uh, almost everyone of us uh, what are you going to do now for who is it for? And I was really scared that she, she didn't ask me <laughs> to be really happy because I had a lot of things to think about because I, I'm working for 10 years now and uh, I still don't know. So that's a very good question for me to, to think about in the future from now on. Yeah, I, I got a lot from the group because sometimes just, uh, when you're too close to your own work, it's nice to have uh, other people look at it um, and see what you didn't see. And, and the other way around, make you see something that you you were otherwise um, thinking too much about yourself. 
I learned that uh, it takes time and uh, I was in some way afraid of, of long projects. I, I, I wanted to do everything in the, in the very first moment. And uh, I also liked, we, we played that game about guessing without not telling what, what, what is in your work. And it just shows how many uh, different opinions and how differently people see the, the works and how they read the pictures. I'm afraid I learned that I have to make some choices. And even if that means that I have to forget or put aside some of pictures I really like, well, I, I learned that that's, that's it. It's the consequence of making some choices. Uh, what I found out, I found out I knew it. I knew it's so precise that it's not. Uh, it's much more interesting to ask a question in photography that everyone must answer, for example, who is it or something like that. So the viewer must uh, look at it and think about it, about that, the photography, not just uh, put it on a plate and here it is. So that's what One of the key things that I sort of learned um, is that thinking takes time and it's okay to keep a thought for a long time and then let it develop. And it's also good and healthy to get um, sort of allow yourself to um, fall in love and fall out of love with like, things you produce because there's nothing wrong with rejecting what you've mm -hmm. done and try try them. Um, Fabio from Italy. Uh, honestly, now I'm just tired, very tired. <laughs> uh, I will need some time to think about this experience. I feel that it has been a great experience. Uh, because of uh, sharing my work with people coming from all over the world. This is very good because uh, I could put together different uh, point of view on the same work, but, but I don't know. I need to sleep. I need to sleep, I need to about this experience and I feel quite sleepy. <laughs> Uh, I came here for two things, for inspiration and for some guidelines with the work and uh, I think I totally got them. And another uh, very important uh, thing for me is that when you try to express yourself you can be very chaotic because you know so many ideas, something you want to, you want to do and this kind of workshop helps to, to apply some systematic approach to your project. To make it a real, like, to, to think in projects, not like in some chaotic bits of photographs, snapshots, etc., but maybe could do somehow some kind of something. No, you really shall have the idea on the ground of your work and then build the whole construction on it. Well, that was my experience.